it's Miss Hansen. I miss you so much. I sometimes this week I had to teach my parents dog Tater because I missed you. So I started teaching a dog and he didn't listen very well. But one time I told him to put his hands in his lap and he did. That was really cool. So he's learning. Anyway, um, I hope that you're doing well and staying safe. Um, as you can see, I'm not in the classroom anymore because I am following the rules to stay safe and to be as responsible as I can. And I want to make the world healthy again and safe so we can be able to meet with each other again as soon as possible. So I wanted to show you my mini classroom in my house. So this is pretty much it. Just up the little bit right here. I just have my little desk right here and I'm going to be doing all the work. This is my little calendar so I can be able to know how to get you things when um, because even though we're not going to the class, I will send you videos so that you can learn at home and that you can help remember things that your parents can help you. Um, so then I have my, ca my other calendar right here and then I have this sign. You've heard me say a lot, save the drama for your llama because we don't want drama. We just want to be kind and helpful. So try to help any way you can. Ask your parents safe ways you can help. Over here, I wanted to show you this. This is very special. I said, you know, I have to work from home, but I wanted to have some things that remind me of being a teacher and classroom to make it feel a little bit more like a classroom in this spot. So I got this poster and we're gonna talk about what it means today because as you know, I tell you all the time that you're amazing and that I care about you and that you can do hard things and that you are just going to be amazing people. So this is our poster called You Are. So you're not gonna be able to see my face very well anymore. But if you can see, it's kind of backwards for you, but I'll read it for you so you'll know what it says. So you can read backwards today. Ooh. So up here it says, when you enter this classroom, now, you're not actually entering my house. That would be probably kind of strange and very weird. And please don't try to find my house. But this internet and the YouTube videos that I send you and all the things that I send you, that's your classroom. You're home to your classroom and you get to be led by me from your classroom. So it's like we're making a classroom on the internet. So it says, when you enter this classroom, you are amazing. You know what that means. That means that you are just incredible kids and you've already done so many hard things this school year and learned so much that I just know you're going to be able to do this next hard thing for the next couple months. And then it says, you are important. You are important. That's why I work so hard to send you videos because you are worth it and important kids and I would do anything and whatever I can to help you. Then it says you are loved. Your parents are doing so much right now. They're probably working and helping you with your work and they're doing so much. They love you so much and we love you so much because we want to help you continue to grow and do everything you can. Then it says you are scientists. So you can do lots of different experiments and go and explore the world around you safely and follow rules but you are still scientists even though you're not at school. You are authors. So that means that you can write and you can create stories. You can do all of that even though we're not in the classroom. You are readers. I hope you're reading because remember, we need to be reading as much as we can every day to keep our brains growing and learning. You are explorers. So there's lots of things you can explore right now. One thing that I saw, sorry about my finger, one thing that I saw is there's lots of um, zoos and different places and astronaut people that are taking you on field trips on YouTube videos and things like that. And the one I saw was a Cincinnati Zoo and they took you on a field trip to meet sloths and it was so cool. So you can still explore from your computer or explore around your neighborhood but still keeping far away from other people. Then it says you are respected. 
So I will respect you as I ask you to respect me. And we talk about that word all the time. And I will respect your time and not give you too much work, not give you too many things to do. And I will respect your parents and I will help you as much as I can. And everything that I give you is just to help you grow. Then it says you are special. You guys know how special I think you are. I think you are the best. You are leaders. So sometimes maybe you're going to have to make sure you get your work done on your own because maybe moms or dads are do, having to do their work and maybe they have to help your brothers and sisters. So you need to be a leader and make sure you are being in charge of your learning. Then it says you are risk takers. Now don't take any unhealthy risks like going and touching and licking walls and stuff. That is a bad idea. But you can take risks by maybe you're like, you know what? I want to do this hard thing or read a harder book than I've ever read. Maybe you want to read a big, harder chapter book. Maybe you want to read, I don't know, maybe you want to start reading the first Harry Potter. You can do that. That's a risk you can take because you're not sure if you can do it. So risk is where you do something even if you're not sure and you try anyway. You are wonderful. You are so wonderful. And it says, you are the reason we are here. So you're the reason I'm here. I'm not a teacher just to like hear myself talk all day. I'm here because I love helping kids. And even if I can't help kids right there in the classroom, I can definitely help kids any way I can through any means necessary. So I love you guys. Keep safe. Do hard things. Make sure to let me know if you need any help from me at all. Know that I care about you, that I'm here for you, and that you are doing amazing things, and I'm so, so proud of you. Bye, guys. I'll see you next time.